Hey, what's up, everybody? I wanted to go through and discuss some of the bills that I follow on Instagram. Bills that I think everybody else should be following, too. These are G37 sedans, and I really appreciate their time and effort that they've put into their car and what they've done with it. So, let me go through and discuss some of these bills. The first one is G37 Poppy. G37 under slash Poppy. And this is the carbon fiber king. First off, you see he has a full honeycomb carbon fiber front end. With carbon fiber splitter, hood, um, everything. Everything is carbon fiber. I mean, this thing is beautiful, including down to the wheels, the fenders, the wheels are carbon fiber. This dude went all out, and he lays his own, his own uh, fiber, carbon fiber. The interior, he he is the carbon fiber king. There is no doubt. So, shout out to G37 on this slash Poppy. Next up on the list, I have Infinity G37. Neville, he's in Dallas, love his build as well. Very clean, extremely clean. I love the wheels. These wheels are so sick. The R1 Concept Big Brake Kit. The interior, he has the, the looks like the, uh, it looks like the Tesla screen, but it's not the Tesla screen. This is, in fact, from Workshop 12. And so they are putting together a new kit for the G37. But Neville's car is just pristine. And not to mention, it's show and go. Because he also is rocking the um, still in supercharger kit. Very nice job. I, I love everything about this, this car. Very, very clean. Next up, we have Surin TTVQ. This is one of the OGs in the G37 community. He has a bag twin turbo G37. And I love how he, even though he does not have the sport lip, and he still has this splitter on there, which really goes very well. The lights, it, it's, it's so sick. Carbon housing. I uh, also love the front end with the um, the grill without the infinity emblem on that, and the front mount intercooler. So nice. So that's another shout out, Surin TTVQ. Next we have Ants G37S. And Antonio, he's up uh, there in uh, Northeast as well. I believe New York. Are you, are you New York? Yeah, New York. Another very nicely built. He is also twin turbo. Now, his diffuser is based off of the carbon signal. It is, in fact, the successful automotive diffuser, which is very, very similar. It's just basically based off of the carbon signal. But full carbon fiber. I like his um, style. He did like a black and gold type thing. But as you see in his um, profile pictures, you get the random family pics along with his um, progression on on weightlifting and everything, but also the car. So a nice, well-rounded profile. We appreciate that, Antonio. But um, I love his car as well. You should be following. Antonio's Ants G37S. Also, it's it's a um, 6MT stick ship. Very nice. Another 6MT. Colton, a homie from Arizona. He is rocking a custom mid-mount turbo kit. He has picked up these new wheels. In fact, from Tommy, who I'm going to discuss in just a minute. But they look so nice. They look nice on anything. But they really go well with Colton's car. I love Colton's uh, front mount intercooler. How he, how he has that set up with um, painted um, 
um, the top and the bottom is painted, but not the intercooler core, which I really like. I don't like when the paint the intercooler core, it kind of takes away from the cooling if you paint the core, but this still looks so menacing and it flows very well because you can't see the the other parts of the intercooler, like the top and bottom where the um, the connections go and the piping goes. Colson is rocking the Demon Trunk single uh, exit. The mid mount, he hasn't been dyno yet, but he's uh, maybe soon. We hope to see when it gets cooler. Um, I'm estimating probably about 600 wheel horsepower. Another 6MT G37 sedan is Classic City G37 from Georgia. Andrew is rocking the Soho kit. Soho single turbo top mount. I like that he carried the blue from the wheels also to the piping. So that's really good. And this dude is putting it down as far as power. He recently put down 718 wheel horsepower on a stock motor. Very impressive. So shout out to the homie, Andrew. We hope to be like you when we grow up, man. Then we Jason is up there in um, Wisconsin, I believe, and he's doing one of the very few sedans rocking the Booster Performance mid mount kit. So this thing is really, really nice. Puts down some good power too. He put down 620 wheel horsepower, 491 torque. And thank you, shout out to Jason for putting his information in the bio. I love that. I know a lot of people like to you know, do they stuff in secret and not really showcase their numbers. Me, I'm just the opposite. I'm going to let everybody know. I feel like I don't have any secrets. If you want to know, fine. If you want to go up against it, that's cool too. So hopefully I can be around that general um, range once my turbo gets done. But... Car Jason. Jason. Jason is actually, he just looks pretty much like a sleeper. I mean, you would never know this thing is rocking 600 horsepower and it's hiding a, a mid mount turbo. You pop the hood and what turbo? Super sleeper style. And I think he also still kept his, no, he got, he got the, um, Okay, he blacked out his front mount intercooler, but it's super sleeper style. He says he's getting some new wheels soon. I can't wait to see what he shows up with. If he shows up on some wheels, that's going to negate the, the sleeper status. But that's going to look sick too. <laughs> Love that 613 wheel horsepower supercharged. So he's got the inkies on some on some fatties, and this thing it looks it looks great. And you pop the hood, woo! I like the gold. It looks very nice. Very good attention to detail. Um, and then on the interior, he has a forged uh, carbon fiber steering wheel. Really nice. Well done. Well done, my man. Let's go. Next, we have Tommy. This is the one who sold his wheels to Colton. And on Tommy's car, they still look good as well. But Tommy is going with the wheels. Very nice. And he also has a, I think it's twin turbo. Tommy is rocking a twin turbo kit on this. Another six MT, MT guy. 
but very clean extremely nice he's out west um, with Colton out there I believe he's Arizona or is he California I can't remember I can't remember Tommy or is it Nevada you have to let us know um next up Rascals Rascals G37 shout out to Rascal Devin he has a YouTube as well um he has a supercharger kit and he put down 700 wheel horsepower now i can't remember what kit it is i think he may have pieced it together and it's based off of the stilling with the stilling manifold i can't remember but he put down some really good numbers and he's currently building his motor with rods pistons um cams and this thing is going to come back a beast because he unfortunately blew the motor and now building it up is going to come back super strong and if he put down 700 wheel horsepower on the stock motor just imagine what he's going to do when it's completely built and ready next up we have um my homie the the bro 6mt sedan this is the homie right here out in um out in la are you in la or are you in vegas he's in la i can't i can't i be getting folks mixed up all the time but love this car man love the car love the wheels and he is rocking the two-tone two face setup with the wheels you got the um you got the one side TEs and on the other, you got these. I mean, what's not to like about this car? The color, the fenders, the trunk, the stance. He did it right. He did it right. So, that's Robert. Robert David. He did uh, He did his thing with this car. And it's 6MT. So, make sure you follow him. He got some big works. Big plans in the works, and uh, it's going to be getting going to the knife soon. Alibaba, Ali, bro. When I tell you, I, when I saw this car in person, and this wrap just absolutely blew my mind. It was one of the best looking sedans I have ever seen, and just his attention to detail was just phenomenal you have successful auto front splitter you had the hood um carbon fiber vis hood which is that ams style you had these the headlights were on point the stance the the width of the wheels and not to mention it's actually a metal wide body but it's made to and look at that that engine bay my goodness that was, that's goals but it, the, it it's a metal wide body made to look like it's stock so that it will fit 12 inch wheels in the rear that is off chain so follow alibaba he got some um big plans for this car from what i hear he's, he's converting it to 6mt because it's automatic right now um, and boosting it so i'm hoping what i hear comes to fruition and that is in fact true i'm gonna be watching to see kevin kevin is in um tennessee another 6mt and we basically we were like twins more so back in the day when his car had the uh, coupe wheels on because I really, he bought his car first and this was my inspiration. I kind of modeled my car after his. And so I based my car off of his and then we started branching off in the different directions but we both are bagged on air he has um so he has accurate with hard lines really really good 
and very nice attention to detail as well. I still consider him my inspiration. He did a really nice job with that car. Um, and it basically encouraged me to mind mine. So shout out to my boy Kevin. We really do need to get together and take some pictures at some point when my car is finally finished. Tybo G37S. This dude, he's another one that has an engine that is just goals. Um, as far as the look of it, just beautiful. And he carries a, a theme throughout. He doesn't, you know go away from the theme that he has that that carbon and red he carries that throughout the entire car and mad respect for for your attention to detail and putting together a very nice car SEMA SEMA car in 2016 that is impressive very nice J-Rod J Rodriguez he is currently trying to sell his car and I can't fault him for that but um, Legacy Forge Wheels, it is, this thing is pristine. I love the entire, the entire build. And it, yeah, the brakes, which are kind of similar color in my, as mine, kind of like a, a teal color. And so he did that with the lights. I like that. It's little subtle stuff like that is where you can make a difference and kind of stand out apart from the crowd so shout out to J-Rod we'll see what he has in store next um see Def, Def Cruz Honolulu a homie from Hawaii this dude built an absolute beautiful car and these wheels I have not seen any other sedan on these wheels so Shout out to him for doing that, being different. Um, I love that. I love those wheels. They look great. I mean, you can't can't say nothing bad about them. And the color, the um, the trunk, the lights, everything just matches and goes very well, dude. Um, we have the homie Eric CT9A. Eric is getting ready to boost this i mean he has all the parts he's just trying to get everything together and this is going to be a g37x boosted with the soho air to air kit and he's on bags too it's a nicely done car i can't wait to see it boosted so make sure you follow him carbon ghost Carbon Ghost got a nice um, G37 as well. I mean, you see a very similar theme. He doesn't, he's not rocking the trunk, but he has the, he has the, the wing uh, or the spoiler uh, of the trunk. But you have the diffuser, lights, and very good, nice stance. Headlights, what else you got? Um, he's rocking. He got the uh, the little DRLs. That's a little, something that I did with mine as well. Custom DRLs. Now you can either buy the ones from Affinity like, like J-Rod did. J-Rod got the real deal. So let's see. If you compare and look at J-Rod's. They're a little bigger. But, I mean, it's the exact same thing. <laughs> so, you can pay $600 and get the ones from Infinity, or you can make your own. And if you want to make your own, I got a video for that. It is in my, um, it, it looks just like that. It's in my YouTube. So, I'll try to post a link if I remember when I'm editing. Um, and someone who did that is Murph. So the Smurf is the last one that we want to give a shout out to. But Las Vegas, Carbon, um, Ghost also was from Vegas. Smurf, love his car, man. He got the tail lights, he got the stance, he's got the the headlights. The head
makes a huge difference so if you're on the fence about getting headlights and get them retrofitted and modded do it it makes a huge difference it looks so good so smurf originally had the bumper a g37 non-sport bumper with the lip now he's got the sport bumper and he, all he's miss, me, missing is that sport lip and once he gets that you in the money, kid. But these are the 20, 20 bills that I think, in my opinion, you should be following. If I've missed someone that you feel like I need to call attention to, um, list it. Post it below um, and type it out. Let me know who I'm missing. Quick update on my car. This week, they are installing the turbo and getting the the piping uh, fitted up and everything then it's going to be sent out for powder coating and a turbo for polishing all of my other parts like the um, three-in-one oil catch can um, radiator um, what is it the reservoir radiator reservoir and power steering that's a three-in-one oil cash can, radiator reservoir, and powder steering, all in one, built from scratch. That has been done, and it's being sent out for polishing as well. Um, I'm getting the uh, uh, custom side-by-side -side oil cooler, and also getting my exhaust. It's getting V-bands instead of flanges, so. That's kind of been the hold up on everything. It's a lot of work. And at the same time, Hendo is trying to train a new employee on how to do everything as well as doing the stuff himself. So it is now going into month three. I dropped it off in the beginning of May. So this is be going to be August. Hopefully I get my car back in August. Hopefully. But um once it's done and completed it's gonna be a beast y'all just wait just wait to see it you're gonna see i cannot wait in the meantime all right so this is a review of i've been um getting stuff for my engine bay to look clean so this is a a custom carbon twill two by two twill with forged carbon and red flake uh, center piece done for the engine bay cover. I have new lights, headlights, cause one of my halos went out on my old lights. So I got new headlights done at the same time with the puzzle piece instead of honeycomb. So that is going to be going on. And once I get the car back, I have a new, um, carbon fiber hood that I had painted they brought it over to the shop to install for me um, the paint was done without the car and so is not um, blending perfectly so more I'm gonna be taking it back to get blended because I, I can't live like that but that'll be getting done as well and I'm getting some more pieces done in carbon fiber for the engine bay and that hopefully will all be done in this next month of August. So just wanted to give everybody a heads up on what was happening with me. But I appreciate y'all if you have watched to this far. Just stay tuned and I'll be posting another video soon. Hopefully I pick up my car August 5th, 14, 15. But we'll see. That is the plan, but we'll see.